Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a minute since I've been on here, uh, but I did get a new toy. I wanted to go ahead and show it off to you guys. Um, so I'll quit talking right away and here we go. So as you guys can see, I did get a 2018 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. So I searched long and hard to find this truck and be able to find a good deal on one. And I'm from Texas, obviously, looking at the license plate, but I did find this one up in Boston after looking for a month. Uh, I knew it had to be blue and I knew it had to be diesel. So this one was low mileage and it was priced at a pretty appealing price. So I hopped my butt on a plane and flew to Boston, signed the papers, 30 minutes later, I was back on a plane headed to Texas. About a week later, they loaded it up onto a car hauler and shipped it down here. It did take one more week to get here, um, but it finally made it. So uh, back in June is when I got this, finally getting around to making a video. Another thing, I wanted to make sure that it had the gold bow tie. I know if it did come with black, it'd be something to easily change out. Um, but to me, um, the black is just a little bit play too played out. It's just for me. Uh, seems like everyone has black these days, so the gold adds a nice pop to the kinetic blue, which is something I was really looking for. So like I said, I did go for the diesel. Um, this is a 2.8 liter Duramax. It's a four cylinder. A lot of people call it the Baby Max. Less than 200 horsepower, almost 400 foot pounds of torque, which is pretty cool. Um, it is slow as a dog. But I really wasn't looking for anything fast. Um, I've had the Corvette, so uh, this will definitely be a nice change of pace for me. Engine bay is filthy because I have been using it. Honestly, I haven't cleaned the engine bay since I got it back in June, but uh, it's okay. It's a toy. It's fun. With the truck being diesel, there is one thing I plan to change about that, and that's not anything under the hood, but it's going to be this huge eyesore right here. Uh, this is a big boy. Looks like he hangs a little bit lower than the tire almost at this at this far edge right here. Um, so that's something we're definitely going to have to get changed soon. I've seen a couple people on the forums have actually um, cut theirs back and then hung it a little bit higher right there at that hanger. That's something I'm probably going to do. I looked at AFV or AFE Power. Um, they sell one. It looks absolutely awesome but it is close to $500. So that's not something I'm really interested in, but it is an option that I could take down the road. As far as deleting goes, something else that I'm going to be deleting soon is this dealer sticker right here. I told myself day one, that that's something I would remove. And here we are in September. Um, what is that? Three months, three months later and I still have the sticker on there. I guess I'll get to remove that one day. So as far as changing stuff on the truck, there is a couple things that I have actually done and here they are. This was the first order of business and that was putting some tint on these windows. Um, it didn't come with anything other than factory when I bought it. Um, so putting tint on there was mandatory. I do work in construction, so I'm in my truck quite a bit. So uh, baking through this glass was not something on my list. Another thing that I did was get seat covers. Like I said, since I am in construction, I am in and out of this truck probably close to a hundred times a day. So getting seat covers was a must. Um, these are neoprene, so they're kind of stretchy and they have a little bit of cushion to them. Um, but there is one downside to these seat covers and that would be that since they are neoprene and I do sweat a lot at work, um, these tend to hold on to that smell. So, which is something I was definitely not, not looking for. I was trying to take care of the leather, um, but in turn, I'm getting uh, stinky seats. So that's the only downside to these. Um, sometimes they don't fit quite perfectly in all areas. Tried to, tried to push that back, but it just doesn't work. Um, if you get into the driver's seat with too much pressure, you can actually pull the little weight out right here. That gets pretty annoying. Um, so these seat covers were a little over $500 but um, they definitely do look cool. 
So these are Scanda. You can see that right there. Scanda seat covers. Um, they're neoprene and what is the, they're called Typhoon. So pretty cool little print. Uh, gives the truck a little, a nice little outdoorsy look to it. The thing that I've done was change out these headlights. These headlights are atrocious. They are so bad. I can't believe GM actually let these come out of the factory. So what I did, I switched these with uh, Diode Dynamics SL1 LED headlights. Um, I did not do the high beams yet because that's another $180. I really don't want to spend quite yet. That is in the works. That will eventually get changed out. So those headlights are a must. They're absolutely awesome. Diode Dynamics made in America. Um, that is something you definitely have to do day one. Um, I didn't do it day one, but something you need to do. Uh, the second thing I did was change out the reverse lights. So these reverse lights are also pitiful. Um, Diode Dynamics makes some super, super, super bright um, LED reverse lights, and that's what I decided to go with. Also changed out the license plate lights right in here, giving the entire exterior of the truck a clean white look. Uh, none of those ugly yellow incandescent looking bulbs. So um, the entire truck is looking nice and clean, almost like a little mini Denali. That's about all I got for the little truck. This is my new toy, this is my daily driver. I've put quite a bit of miles on it since June. I've put a little over 10,000 miles. I do have more mods in the work. Uh, something should be get done Friday. I'll definitely have a video out on that. It is going to be a totally different truck. So uh, once that happens, I'll be sure to show you guys. Other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.